Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we'll be presenting a case of a 24-year-old gentleman who presented to our ER with complaints of scrotal pain and scrotal swelling since the past two days. Shall I please yeah. proceed, sir? On our initial 10-second assessment, patient was conscious and oriented, airway was patent with mm. no pulling of secretions, mm. breathing, air, air entry was bilaterally equal with okay. a respiratory rate of 18 and maintaining a saturation of 98% of room air. Circulation, all the peripheral pulses were equally palpable with mm. a heart rate of 118 uh, and a BP of 130-80. Okay. Coming to disability, his mm. GCS was E4, V5, M6 mm. with pu pupils bilaterally equally reacting to light. Okay. His pain score was 8 on 10. Okay. We gave him uh, a uh, paracetamol IV on okay. gram and on exposure his temperature was 98.6 degree Fahrenheit with GRBS of 140. Okay. Uh, on reassessment, uh, airway breathing circulation was maintained and his pain score reduced to 6 on 10. And we gave him a tramadol of uh, 50 mg in 100 ml uh, MS NS, okay. with MSET. Okay. Coming to secondary <coughs> survey, sample history. Can you just go to the, yeah, tell me, tell me no problem. Uh, coming to the sample history, mm. he is a 24-year-old gentleman okay. with no known comorbidities, mm. unmarried. He is a construction worker at UAE. Okay. He had uh, the scrotal pain and scrotal swelling mm. since the past two days. Okay. On day one, he went to a local hospital in UAE mm -hmm. where the scrotal Doppler was done, showing mm. a reduced vascularity to his right testicle. Okay. And he was advised immediate surgery. Mm. Uh, due to financial constraints, it was not possible there. So, he came after 48 hours to our department. Uh, on presentation, he had severe uh, pain uh, of the right testis predominantly with swelling. Okay. On examination, mm. uh, the right testis was tender. Uh, it was erythematous, uh, okay. edematous. I, I just wanted few more history. Any? Uh, can you just explain that events that led to his pain? Because whether uh, what happened before the pain, just you said, two days back he gone to an hospital. So how did this pain start? It is after following a trauma, whether he had a fall from height or whether there was any other associated fever, all those history. Uh, there was no any history of fever. He is actually a construction worker. He has started his work just uh, three days back. Okay. Uh, he has engaged into his work. But usually the history, if you, the history, everything and the findings are suggestive of a torsion testis. Mm -hmm. So torsion testis, you should have some uh, activity, something like a sports activity they have gone for. They had a history of fall, trauma. Uh, suddenly a spontaneous torsion can occur if they have got some anatomical issues. It can happen. But usually the classical history, what we will to have, uh, they will have some uh, sports activity following that or history of fall, trauma. Any of those sort of history is very classical to have a torsion testis. They will not just have a spontaneous uh, uh, torsion testis. It can happen, but usually it is not very common. Uh, so that history, anything uh, positive in that? Uh, there was physical exertion for okay. the past three days because of Okay, he just joined for a new job. What was the type of his job? Construction worker. Construction worker. So maybe manually he would have been taking something, holding and traveling up and down. So some aggressive physical activity has to be there. Usually, so suddenly somebody cannot have just walking, he should not develop a torsion testis. Uh, some uh, trauma should be there. Without that, it will not develop. Okay. So, coming to the examination. Examination. So, what are the key things? Uh, uh, we just leave it because it's already Doppler proven testicular torsion. It is Doppler proven testicular torsion. Just leave that alone. A patient has come to the ED with a testicular pain. So, what are your possible differential diagnosis? A young male coming to you, young male, it can be a young male or you will, depending upon the age group, we can decide. Maybe a pediatric child, pediatric age group uh, coming to the emergency room with a testicular pain. What are the possibilities that you need to consider in that? As the age advances in the uh, maybe 24, 25, 30, what are the possibilities? Above that, what are the possibilities? Each age, you can just describe what are the differential diagnosis and how will you differentiate between each of these conditions. Um, in an early age group, it can be obviously a torsion testis. Uh, it can be an acute epididymitis or orchitis. Okay. Uh, it can be a torsion of testicular appendages. Okay. Uh, any history of any testicular trauma. Toma, it can be just simple hematoma. 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 And it can be an another thing. It can be an furuncle which got infected and it has become an abscess and they can come to the ED. Mm -hmm. So, scrotal pain as such or it can be an infected hydrocele. Mm -hmm. So, that is another possibility. It can be an infected... Uh, which one? Inguinal hernia. Inguinal hernia. Inguinal. Tumors, obstructing and... 
radiating one of the most common presentation that we have so when you come to the pediatric age group definitely you need to think in terms of a torsion uh, testis as one of the differential and uh, maybe one of the reason they can they can some come to the er because there can be an undescended testis also undescended testis on one side and they have just uh, accidentally seen that one side they have got pain and they can come to the ed so they are just noticing they are having an undescended testis so that is again so sexually transmitted diseases so Especially 24 years of age so that is one differential diagnosis we have made and torsion test is very common uh, but usually aggravated some with the some, some of the uh, some trauma history has to be there that is very common then how will you differentiate it within an epidemic or arthritis testicular torsion or a testicular appendages torsion these three things how will you differentiate in the ed Uh, sir, uh, clinical features history wise both will be similar. Uh, they'll be having an acute onset of pain, okay. swelling. Uh, all the history wise all will be similar. Only thing in testicular uh, epidemic or case is you might get some history of fever. fever. You might get, not always. You might get. Yeah, when the there's a torsion of one bit, the uh, appendages. There is something called as a blue dot sign. Uh, a blue color spot will be seen uh, over the testicular area. Which means to say that only the morbid part, the appendix, appendix is involved. Appendix is involved, but uh, different in an uh, uh, fair skin, it might be difficult. But again, uh, the dark skin people, it might be difficult to identify that. Then. Then other signs are sir, the affected testis would be a higher riding testis in okay. case of testicular torsion, which is a, a, a higher riding testis. testis. Okay, that's the deming sign. Mm. And the opposite testis would be at a horizontal position, which okay. is an angel sign. Mm. The other one is a prone sign. Prone sign means when we uh, try to uh, elevate the uh, affected testis, the pain will reduce in epidermis or arthritis, which mm. is a positive prone sign, mm. and the pain would increase in the testicular torsion. So that's a, a simple test. thing that you can do. Just the affected side, you just elevate and see the pain is subsiding. It is suggestive of epidermis or arthritis. The pain is not subsiding. It is not suggest. It can be due to torsion testis. And uh, what are the other uh, thing about epidermis or arthritis and torsion? What are the other differentiating features? Um, um, Chromastic reflex. reflex is seen in? Uh, seen in epidermis or cutis, Ep- absent in torsion. torsion. So, these are the other simple investigations where you don't have a Doppler facilities. But testicular pain is one of the most common presentation as the most common one will be an ureteric calculi mm. or, uh, getting radiated to the testis. That will be the commonest presentation. But definitely you have to have a differential diagnosis. The most common two differential diagnosis that you will have find difficulties is epidermis or cutis or whether it is a uh, testicular torsion. So, you can confirm a testicular torsion by doing a Doppler okay. and seeing the vascularity what exactly is that. Mm. Uh, if the vascularity is low, what is the time limit for repair? Six hours. Sir. Within six hours of onset of symptoms. Mm. Within six hours of onset of symptoms, you can refix it. Can you do anything manually if he had gone to that hospital within six hours? Manual detorsion can be done. Uh, can you explain the procedure? Sir, it is actually an open book technique mm. where uh, usually the testis undergoes a torsion in the medial aspect. Mm. So, when we try to detort, we have to give adequate analgesia to the patient. Mm. After that, we detort in an opposite direction. Mm. In two-third cases, it would be in the medial side. Mm. But when we try to detort, if the pain is increasing, then we have to think about a possible that in one it third cases it can go lateral, lateral rotation. Uh, the detorsion should be done in the side towards the thigh in both the aspects uh, and it should also be in a caudal to cranial direction to release the cremastic muscle as well. Okay, so that is one thing that uh, in an ED where you don't have a facility for an fixation immediately, uh, you are referring him to a center where you don't have a facility, you can think of reducing the torsion because the vascularity is very important. Within 6 hours, 4 hours is ideal, 6 hours is the maximum time frame by which you need to uh, fix the torsion okay so if it is epidermis or cutis how will you go about it uh, sir, we have to th- since it is a 24 year old gentleman we have to think about a sexually transmitted disease as mm-hmm. well we have to give adequate analgesia to the patient okay and we have to think about antibiotics okay what antibiotics you will choose uh, sir gram negative coverage is more important mm. And ceftriaxone with doxycycline in view of uh, SCDs. Okay, ceftriaxone with doxycycline or quinolones, uh, ciprofloxacin, norfloxacin, ofloxacin with doxycycline will be an ideal choice. And other thing is that uh, if the patient is coming from an endemic area, phylariasis yes. also has to be thought of. So, we have to, DEC therapy also needed to be uh, kept in mind. So, that is one important thing that you need to have. Then what are the other uh, differential diagnosis for a testicular pain? Hydrocele. Varicocele. Superficial vein thrombosis. In superficial varicocele. vein thrombosis. So, if you see a superficial vein thrombosis, what do you have to do? Um, 
it is not very common to have a superficial vein thrombosis no we have to RCC. we have to look in for any malignancy we have to look in for any underlying malignancy wherever you see a superficial vein thrombophlebitis you have to think in terms of a probable underlying malignancy so that work up needed to be done uh, if it's a male uh, definitely you need to have risk factors depending upon the risk factors you have to uh, look for the screening for malignancy then hydrocel infected hydrocele no it's a simple hydrocele also they can come to the ed maybe they would have observed just now hmm? patients with chronic liver disease or any ckd patients wherein there is water and sodium retention in the blood uh, in, in the it's body because of the first space water they have collection, collection. very easy to diagnose because Uh, this test, you, be test, you test. will be able to see that. So that's one uh, this thing. Then hernia. hernia. They can come with an inguinal hernia. They can whether it is reducible, irreducible, strangulated. All those things you will be able to see. But one thing, most important thing is that you should have a thorough clinical exp- examination with adequate exposure. So that is again one most important thing when you are thinking in terms of a testicular pain. So uh, fine. So what was done for him? Sir, uh, we did an ultrasound uh, with Doppler here, okay. which was showing that uh, the right testis has an altered echo texture with no color in Doppler. Okay. So we uh, it was planned for a scrotal exploration. Mm. It, urology was informed. Mm. Uh, intraoperatively, the right testis was found to be gangrenous with okay. a twisted cord. Okay. So right orchidectomy was done mm. with left orchidopexy. Left orchidopexy. That is one again one important thing. If you are just uh, coming out, you have to fix the other one also. So the chance of torsion can be decreased for the left side. So that is again uh, when you are doing for right side. Sometimes you will be removing it. or sometime if you are able to fix it also other side also orthopexy needed to be done uh, so the, that's a straight forward case of a testicular pain so the key messages here will be uh, when a patient young middle aged man has come here with a testicular pain so the differential diagnosis it's pretty simple here uh, we have either two things one is epidermo orchitis or other one is a testicular torsion so epidermo orchitis is again you can send in for an ultrasound and a doppler so if there is color doppler flow and everything it is more in favor of an uh, epidermo orchitis maybe an iv antibiotics of 7 to 14 days duration depending upon the comorbidities we can do only thing that you need to keep in mind is gram negative coverage and doxycycline needed to be given for stds as well as if the patient is coming from an endemic area file areas is also need to be thought of and you have to add for a direal carbamazepine spin so that is dec the next thing the torsion test is we have got a very short time so we can confirm the diagnosis either by doing a simple prehens sign if it is positive it is favor of epidermal orchitis if it is negative it is favor of a testicular torsion and if you have a facility immediately do the fixing within 6 hours of the symptom onset if at all you are late in it you can if the patient is going to be referred for a late center you can try detorsion by using a simple open back vein or as you suggested anything else you need to add on sir there is a screening tool called a twist score yeah twist uh, score is where uh, there are five parameters mm. actually in the first one is an induration of the testis mm. then a uh, t- uh, testicular ed- scrotal edema scrotal edema which carries two score mm. uh, two as the points mm. and then the other features are nausea vomiting with mm. a high riding testis and loss of chromatic chromatic reflex which each carries one point each the total score would come in seven okay so if there are the, the score comes out to be zero to two which means it has a hundred percent negative predictive value that it is not a torsion torsion when it is three to four it uh, it's like we have to go for a usg scro- uh, Scrotum, Doppler, Doppler with scrotum, mm. and if it is more than five or more than six, we have to consider uh, as torsion. Uh, yeah, uh, if it is an EMT, uh, more than five, six score would be taken into consideration. If the doctor who is assessing, it would be more than five would be five. taken into consideration. So that's a quick score when you have don't uh, whether we need to refer the patient to a center or you have got a facility. Don't uh, you are doing a Doppler? You are wasting your time. Whether you don't have do, uh, facility to fix this up, don't waste the time. Immediately refer. You are hundred percent sure that it is going to be a torsion. No need for a Doppler. You can straight away refer to a center where you have got a facility for doing a detorsion. Okay, and orchidoplexy. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you.